are you doing today? I am Abhijit from BustingJEMain.com and in this video we will be talking about inequalities. This request was made by Vikram and he wanted me to show when inequalities change their sign. As you know there are four different kinds of inequalities and every inequality has a left side and a right side and in between them we can write either a greater than sign, less than sign, greater than or equal to sign and less than or equal to sign. Let me take an example. 3 is more than 2. Now this inequality says the left side which has the value 3 is more than the right side which has the value 2. But things are not always that simple. For example, we will get an equation like this x plus 1 by x square minus 1 is greater than 4. Now in order to find the value of x which satisfies this inequality, we will have to do some mathematical operations and it is those mathematical operations that can change the sign of inequalities. Let us see how. Adding or subtracting the same number has no effect on the inequality the inequality will not change. You can add a positive number, a negative number, a fraction, whatever you add or subtract, the inequality will remain the same. For example, let us take 3 is more than 2 and let us add 1 to both sides. So what I will get is 3 plus 1 and the right side will become 2 plus 1. Now I know this becomes 4 and this right side becomes 3 and the inequality still holds. What if I subtract a number? Let us subtract uh, 2 or 4 maybe. So it becomes 3 minus 4 and the right side becomes 2 minus 4 and this gives me a result minus 1, this gives me minus 2 and you know that minus 1 is more than minus 2, right? What if I add or subtract a fraction? Let us see 3 plus 1 by 2 and right side 2 plus 1 by 2. And the left side becomes 7 upon 2, right side 5 upon 2 and clearly 7 upon 2 is more than 5 upon 2. So the inequality does not change when you add or subtract the same number to both sides. Inequality also does not change when you multiply or divide by a positive number. Now what is a positive number? Anything that is greater than 0 is taken as positive. Yes, it should not be equal to 0. For example, if I take 3 more than 2 and multiply both sides by 0, what will happen? The left becomes 0 and the right becomes a 0 and then the inequality will not hold. So, whenever you talk about a positive number, take any number that is greater than 0. Okay, let's talk further. I have 3 and 2 and let us multiply both sides by 2. The left becomes 3 by into 2 and 2 into 2 and so on the left we have 6 and the right becomes 4 and the inequality still holds. What if I multiply by a fraction? Let's say I multiply both sides by uh, 1 by 2. The left becomes 3 1 by 2 and the right becomes 2 into 1 by 2 and we can say that 1.5 is more than 1. So the inequality still holds. This concept is very very powerful. I will show you an example. Let's take two examples to understand this concept further. 2 upon x plus 1 is greater than 1 and 2 upon x square plus 1 is greater than 1. Now, since the variable is in denominator, if I want to cross multiply and write it like this, 2 is greater than x plus 1 or 2 is greater than x square plus 1. Now, one of these is correct and the other is wrong. Can you guess which one? 
this is correct. Why? Because x square plus 1 is a positive quantity. So, I can multiply both sides by this number. Whereas, I do not know about the sign of x plus 1. So, writing 2 is greater than x plus 1 may or may not give the correct answer. So, never do this. Alright, now let us check out the conditions when the inequality reverses. I like to follow only one simple rule for all these cases and that is a strictly decreasing function reverses the inequality and this includes multiplying with a negative number. What do I mean by this? Let us check out these graphs. The first graph indicates y equal to x and by multiplying with a minus sign, I have changed the graph from an increasing function to a decreasing function. So, what happens when you multiply by minus sign? A graph changes from increasing to decreasing and that is what reverses the inequality. Let us take some more examples now. I have 1 is less than 2. Now, what happens if I apply a function e to the power x to both sides of the inequality? That is, what happens to the inequality when I write e to the power 1 and e to the power 2? To answer that, first look at the graph of e to the power x. It is a strictly increasing function, so inequality will not change. Let us check out another function e to the power minus x and I apply it to the same inequality 1 is less than 2. So, on the left hand side I will have e to the power minus 1 and on the right hand side it will be e to the power minus 2. Now, what happens to the inequality? Let us check out the graph e to the power minus x is something like this which shows that it is a decreasing function and what did I say a strictly decreasing function reverses the inequality. So, the inequality will change and we will have e to the power minus 1 is more than e to the power minus 2. Now, not all functions are increasing or decreasing. So, what to do in such cases? I will show this with an example. Let us take pi by 3 and pi by 2 and we have the inequality pi by 3 is less than pi by 2. And if I apply the sine function to both sides, we will get sine pi by 3 and sin pi by 2. You know that this is root 3 upon 2 which is approximately equal to 0 0.85 and the right hand side is 1 and clearly root 3 by 2 is less than 1 that is the inequality did not change. But what if we started with pi by 2 and 2 pi by 3? Clearly pi by 2 is less than 2 pi by 3. Now, let us apply the same sine function to both sides. We get sine pi by 2 and sine 2 pi by 3. Now, this we know is 1, whereas the right hand side we will get root 3 by 2. And in the previous example, we just saw that 1 is more than root 3 by 2. That is the inequality is reversed. To explain this, let us look at the graph of sin x. I will just draw a rough graph over here and this is how sin x looks like. Okay, Let us zoom over it and see. In the first case, I took an example of pi by 3 to pi by 2. The graph is a rough one. So, in this zone here, you can see that sin x is an increasing function right? In this zone, it is increasing. Therefore, the inequality did not change. Whereas, in the interval from pi by 3, pi by 2 to 2 pi by 3, you can clearly see that the graph of sin x is decreasing and therefore, the inequality reverses. Whenever there is a function which is strictly decreasing, then the inequality reverses. That is it. So, that is all for this video guys. Thanks a lot to Vikram for asking that question. If you have any doubts or if you want to ask any questions yourself, you can comment below the video or you can visit our Facebook page and check it out. Ask your questions there. You can also check out our website bustingjeemain.com. It has got lots and lots of tutorials for anyone preparing for JEE and medical examinations. I have provided the links in the description box. 
if you liked the video don't forget to subscribe see you